emergence of the internet, however, there has been a new great friend, the internet friend. I've ended up bonding with somebody over a common interest, and with the revolution of the internet, this makes it insanely easy. So, Amarias, what do you do on YouTube? That's the hardest question ever, dude. Why'd you drop me like that? <laughs> that question's so hard. I make skits. Content that's not normal. All right. That's such a weird way to say it. I know, like, that, that is. I always thought comedy. I guess, yeah. Comedy, yeah. sharing my life, sharing what I'm doing in an interesting way, sharing my interests. Why do you make the content that you do? I want to show people that you can rise even if you're super weird, dude, you know? That's good, yeah. You gotta, you gotta be yourself, because I'm whack. I, I'm getting clout from it. Why is it important to have internet friends? Dude, internet friends are the best, let me tell you. I don't know, Marias. Should we explain why there's a picture of Insta on with us? It's called a deep fake. <laughs> <laughs> people around you, there's only so many people that you can meet, you know, throughout your life. Unless you're crazy like me and go talk to random people in the grocery store. <laughs> Which you've done. Yeah, it's so fun. <laughs> you can meet so many cool people. But for like a basic person like you, like who's homeschooled, like what are you gonna do? Like go to church, so, you know? Yeah. What are you gonna do with your life? Meet people on Facebook, you know? And your friends are important because you can really meet people who are like, who have the same interests as you, with the same kind of mindset as you because that's way harder to find in person because you, you don't know who these people are when you see them in person but on the internet everything's out there like your profile's out there they know who you are it's like online dating you know you <laughs> see them immediately and see what they're all about versus like being like hey maybe that person is cool how did we meet online how did we meet online how did we meet online i don't know <laughs> i don't know it was 2016 yeah. Our first Twitter messages are like, yo, collapse soon, and you're like, I was thinking the same thing. Is what you said. Uh, our first communication was like on Twitter. We've been like Simone and Pumba ever since. <laughs> that was whole that was Simone wholesome. Simone and Pumba. That was wholesome. Wait, who's Simone weird. and who's Pumba? When I was a young warthog. I guess that is exactly. Sing the rest. No. Oh. <laughs> How many internet friends would you say that you have? That's weird. Are you an internet friend now? I mean I was. I still kind of am. You got upgraded, boy. Oh, nice. upgraded. Too many to count, dude, honestly. Like, you can't count. Dude, so way too many, you know? It's like, all these people I talk to on Instagram and stuff like that. So many internet friends, man. Oh, that's cool. So basically, countless. So, so basically, what I'm hearing is you just friend every person on the internet. Yes. <laughs> here's, a, here's another question. How many of these internet friends have you actually met in real life? Wow. Only you. Wait, no, that, that's a lie. Yeah, I was about to say. Five? Who, who would those be? You, first you'll be the last guy. My friend Quinn. My friend, the epic place, Mackenzie Jewel. Whoa. Yeah, Mackenzie's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, what do you. <laughs> How was your experience with meeting these internet friends in real life? Dude, it's so weird. At first, it's like 3D, You're like jumping out of the screen, you know? That's that's what I thought the first time I saw you, actually. Oh, you know what would be really cool if you held like your laptop to your face with like your video playing and then like... Yeah. Right? Yeah, is there like, is there like anything specific about meeting friends in Dude, real life? Dude, yeah, they look so much more detailed. Mm -hmm. Like you can't see Matthew's facial hair on video, but in person it's like, wow, that's crazy, dude. Well, what are you saying? It's crazy. Oh, right. Look, yeah. on video looks good, but in person... <laughs> it's, it's, different. it's different, you know? <laughs> That's D fair. Dead -y. That's why my uh, IRL friends tell me to shave now. I understand. Yeah, but it doesn't matter on the internet because it looks kind of cool on the internet. Cause, like, I think fuzzy. it is, yeah. yeah. Here, here's a very interesting question that I thought about a lot before we met. Were you concerned in any capacity about me endangering you in any way? Honestly, you're two inches taller than me. So it was kind of scary at first because I've never met people that are taller than me from the internet in real life. So it's kind of like, wow. I thought this person was like, always sitting on a chair short, you know? You're like towering over me and I was all like, holy cow. <laughs> I'm about to get wrecked by this boy and his family. <laughs> Just then, gonna mug you. Yeah, but, <laughs> yeah. But then your mom saved the day cause she gave me free food and it was really nice. And uh, that's true. Very wholesome. So like in that similar vein of like, the fear of like people doing bad things to you because like, there in real life and like that is a possibility. Do you think people, like even though that is a possibility, that people should take 
risks when it comes to like meeting people in real life, like internet friends? Yeah, as long as it's in like a, a nice location so they can't jump you, you know, That's not in an alleyway. I, well, what, what would be the, like the amount of time that you would say would be like a safety net where you're like, okay, I know this person, they're not gonna kill me. <laughs> if you're in a public location and you're like not a kid, mm -hmm. when you meet one adult, another adult, you're like, hey, and it's a public place, you're like, I mean, it's just like meeting someone in person, you know? Yeah, that's fair. Anybody could be a killer, you know? Well, Secretly. that's true. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. It's kind of scary, dude. Yeah, for real, but like, I mean, I'm glad I took the risk. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you did too. What? 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 Do you... what? It's a high five. What? Oh. That's, that's not a... He does that to me all the time. I never, <laughs> I never know what to do. If he does, if he does this, like, what am I supposed to do? Just like this, or like shake it like yeah. this? Like what? It, what? Like <laughs> what am I doing? Right. What is the impact that you want to leave on YouTube for the future? My impact that I want to leave on YouTube for the future is to leave a legacy of what? Of me documenting my editing abilities and content and interacting with people now and then interacting with them still when I'm bigger. It's such a hard question. It is, yeah. Like what do you want to be known for kind of thing? I want to be known for huge audience engagements. Mm -hmm. The guy who took down Gary B. <laughs> you would be that guy. For real. I think I can I think I can do it. Gary is good. But there's some key things he's missing. That's fair, yeah. But I love you Gary. <laughs> Shout out. Huh. I mean, you actually met him, so. And you're wearing his shoes. Yeah, yeah. Gary. <laughs> well, thank you, Marias, for being on my. Oh. Stop doing that! <laughs> it's like a high five. I just right? wanna shake, man. Alright, let's do it. <laughs> let's make a deal. Okay, is that cut? Cool. Yeah, I think so. Alright, Mac, it's your turn. I get an interview? Yeah. <gasps> Really? <laughs> Special thanks to my four patrons who support me on Patreon. If you'd also like to help support the channel, go to patreon.com slash or click the link in the description.